But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and play a game of Skywrath here. Let's uh, pick it no matter what. They're probably like Nyx Assassin or something if they really want to make me sad. But it doesn't matter, man. I'll play it anyway. But this hero is kind of fun because he's one of the heroes who benefits the most from stacking int in the game. Your first skill has a base damage of 60, 80, 100, 120. And then 1.6 times your int. And it has a 2 second cooldown. And a very long range. Okay, he picks a uh, Viper. A bit annoying. Definitely not a good matchup for me, but we'll see. Doesn't really matter too much what I'm against, I think. Skyrath is uh, a bully. <laughs> oh, he didn't go for that. Good for him. Good for him. I'm just gonna try to bully him a bit by attacking him whenever I see him. He's really hiding. What the fuck? Go for some denies when we can. And whenever he's looking to see us, I can try to harass him. Indeed. I don't need to send out my stuff yet. I can wait a little bit. Well, then. It's completely fine to use Q for last hitting on this hero. Um, you can't do it non-stop because we'll of course run out of mana. But you can use it a little bit. Mainly I just want to save mana though. I want to save my mana for higher levels. I can't get that one so I'm gonna nuke it. But I'm not starting to nuke my uh, Viper yet. Saving the mana. Move this in. So I don't like going bottle or mana boots or something on Skyrath because Skyrath with this 4.1 int gain and his massive um, his massive mana pool, you basically don't want to uh, try to regen his mana at all. That's my is my mentality. I just go for uh, stacking up stacking up the mana pool. So he's still doing Viper things, just kind of shoving lane, going to jungle, shoving lane, going to jungle. I think level 5 is going to be my power spike when I kill him. It's 30% damage increase for 80 mana. Hmm. I don't think I go for that. I think I go for this build. Maxing my W for more slow when I hit level 6. Q him and attack him once here. If I'm full HP and full mana and level 6, I think I just straight up kill the Viper, so with this creep, I'm level 6. That's not, that's not Viper. Uh, one Harass Bolt first, and one Auto Attack, and then just like that, dead. This hero, you always want to use ulti with W. Take that! Is there anyone bottom? Ganky. Only Bye. type. Yes. Oh, well, you ran this way. Oh, well, no fight anymore. Uh, I'm playing some deep ward stuff. Think of it as a new beginning. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep maxing this. You can use the W to farm as well. It is fine. By the ancient powers. It's not the uh, best farming spell in the game, but when there's no hero this around, right. you can. Uh, attack creeps with it. Yeah. I'm under attack. He is gonna die without my ulti. So we're not gonna ulti. Yes. Ulti is very One big mana commitment. 300, so... Curtain. I wanna try to avoid using it if I can. Or... Yeah. I kinda do wanna no, kill someone and just go to base. And I'm gonna do what I prefer to do on this hero, which is... Go, like, By Kaya into brilliant. Travels. And go Kaya Asha Travels. This guy can die. He has very, very little HP, and uh, he has no magic wand, no nothing. He just dies to two Qs and a W. For one auto attack and a Q. Yeah, so damage is already stacking up. No Talisman gives Spell Amp, so Spell Amp is very attractive on this hero. I think I'm gonna go Travels first, and then go for... Um, then go for Kaya. Very well then. Travels allows me to do some stuff, teeping back to base, killing mana, and it sounds really good at right about now. That may this guy can Just die. So. Oh, God, uh, God, uh, God. I missed a bit. Okay, I am actually gonna die instead, I think. Let's play Fuck Off. 
keep using their stuff. They're gonna ravage yeah. first or what? So the best part about this hero is that you can keep running away and still be pretty effective because your spells are very fast. So you don't actually have to. Um... Oh my, fog right line. Oops. But yeah, you don't you don't have to stand still. You can keep running around while you're nuking. Oh. PA. PA has no HP as well. That's another one of those heroes that just dies to this. With power. Where is she? You'll have no she running back? She is down here somewhere. Hunt. Oh. oh, she died. <laughs> Founder. I'm gonna go base. I'm under attack. And I will move the tower that is under attack. That's a viper that's overcommitted. Plus eight intelligence. Well we know how much we like intelligence, so we're gonna go for it. By the way, it would be completely acceptable to go for Ancient Seal. Ancient Seal is not a bad spell. I'm just kind of holding off on it here. Normally people would have at least one point in it by now, for sure. I'm gonna TP up here. There's a benefit of travels. Oh! No! Fucking Viper, dude. <laughs> so level two ulti now. Just so. 1150 damage if you Your if you land it. Rotovatus is like the best item you could have, by the way, for landing this easier, because then you can hold the enemy in place on your own, which is very valuable. My power is very, very valuable. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Easy kill. Oh, he's right here. Damage. Oh, my ulti. Yeah. That was yes. three swift kills again there. I'll dash. We're gonna use our normal TP to TP base, and then we're gonna use travels to join fight somewhere. Somewhere. This guy might keep going here. I have a feeling that he As does, so let's sneak up on him. If I get to silence, he's dead. Just so. So dead. <laughs> that Q is now going for half his HP pool. The 1.6 times my int is starting to is get pretty strong. Power. Um. So now we can go for a lot of things here. We have three choices, right? We can go for the E max when level, which brings it up to 45% uh, damage. We can go for Ancient Seal cooldown, which actually will put it at 100% uptime, which is really neat. Um, with one more level. Or we can go for this, which I want. Plus one Arcane Bolt per cast. Yes. So we straight up just multicasting it. Oh god, we found the rune. Myself, the Blessed Rune. The this is the rune that you're looking for on any spellcasting hero. My power is summoned. Let's fucking go. Yeah, chase me, dude. No, well, I did get three of them. If I got this into my inventory, I would maybe have lived. But it was delivered into my backpack because I had sloppy inventory management. 1.1k gold for me. <laughs> well, I could I could have kept running. I could have just straight up lived there. The downside with Skyrath is he takes tremendous damage from right clicks. So PA, I mean, you saw when she jumped me, 1270 damage in very little time. That's uh, it's gonna happen. Let's go for a Yasha now. Kaya and Yasha, even more spell amp. We get more movement speed. Now I'm really fast. And I actually get a little bit of armor, which I definitely won't say no to. As I will. Boom, you're dead. I go as big. 
Alright, he has the... Oh, is that timed? Because he loses his thing. He doesn't die to that though. Does a lot of damage, but... It kills. I'm gonna get him now. Next one. Boom. And silence. Hold him. Dead. I'm gonna go with the magic resistance for E here. Make our E even stronger. Even stronger. Uh, why Yasha Kaya and not want Kaya? I feel like their CC would kill you in zero time. I guess you mean Sanj. Um, and yeah, their CC would kill me. So I rely heavily on having good positioning here. I'm gonna eat us this guy and he's dead. Stand in the Skywrath shower. Yeah, I mean this hero is glass cannon, dude. This is the biggest glass cannon hero in Dota. So he'll have tremendous damage. Now we have three. Yeah, just stand in that, dude. We'll be fine. Eh, just fight me. At this point, uh, I mean, Hex is extremely good. Shiva's is good. I'm gonna go for Octarine though. The lower cooldown means more fun. I think. If this game turned difficult, I would 100% go Shivas, because we have 9 armor against the PA, we're heading in towards the late game. I mean, Shivas is the best option, but as long as it's an item that builds with Mystic Staff, I'm happy to build it. Shivas, Octarine, or Hex, these items are fine. my time. You have entered my I didn't get any kills. I feel like I did the damage though. So you see how my mana pool is three thousand? But I don't have any mana region items, so I can just keep going base. I'm not gonna go GPM yes. here. I'm gonna go for damage. So we now have a 2200 damage Mystic Flare, which, when I cast it, it also puts one more Mystic Flare on another hero because I have Aghanims. Oh, they're smoked up here. As it is in my power. Yeah. I shall not report. I shall not report. Alright. I believe that's it. Radiant victory. Oh. Oh. Ah.